Good morning, everyone. This is Rafe Gal, and we're playing some Final Fantasy VI T Edition. You missed me running in and out of the Opera House, or not the Opera House, the Auction House, a bunch to get Golem and uh, Pew Pew, which I assume is Zone Seek based on the fact that it does Shell. Uh, and then I did a little bit of leveling up. Um, and by leveling up I mean, of course, grinding for espers and money. So, right now, I am ready to do our first pass on the floating continent. So this is what I've picked up here. Uh, we have spent a bunch of money on Phoenix Downs, Cure-Alls... Apparently, sorting these does not actually put them in any sort of logical order. So we'll do something like this. That looks about right. So yeah. Um, and I think we're going to use this gold apple on... Sell us right now, just so we've got it. it apparently, doesn't re rearrange stuff to some extent. Okay. <laughs> so the other thing I did besides that was I stopped at a couple shops and I found these needle daggers that we hadn't seen yet, um, which gives Lock a back row attack option that is going to keep up a little bit better with where he's at. So I'm hoping that that helps. Um, Celis, Ribbon Earring, keeping it simple. Um, sneak Armlet, he's here to steal things. And then the Evade Boosts make Prayer Beads a really good option for him. Uh, I threw Lunar, Lunar Curtain on Gao just to get that extra little def magic defense. And also because I feel like him learning Reflect isn't a terrible option. Um, and Gao is coming along, so... Celis is not the ideal person to bring along to the Floating Continent. Because she'll rejoin you later anyway. But I want her along for the first pass. Um, I'm probably going to go through this area twice, because there's a bunch of stuff. It's a hard area on a good day. Um, and the big thing is, I want her to learn Bio before we get to World of Ruin. Um, the Funbaba fight is always a tough one, and Bio is super powerful against it, so I feel like making sure that she has that available is good. Um, just finishing Madwin on Locke, and then we're probably going to go over to Seraph to get him Kira. Uh, the other thing that I did during my grind was I went in with Edgar and or Edgar Setzer and Sabin and got them some more spells just because they're the ones who are going to be joining Celis uh, in World of Ruin first. So yeah, simple, straightforward. Let's uh, do our first attempt here and check out the Air Force and Ultros. Okay, Floating Continent, Air Force. Let's 
So, we'll see how nasty this ends up being. Uh, traditionally, Rama is really powerful here if we need it. Uh, I'm gonna use Belmodar with Gao. Because I believe these guys are generally with Lightning. Probably gonna hurt. So we'll have Celeste heal. Unlock. You had one job. Uh, also worth mentioning, Gal getting these rages could mean that he has absolute zero going into the next section, which could be really good. That was the wrong side. That's a problem. I got really lucky that that thing didn't at uh, back attack block. By the way, I didn't mention it, but uh, I did give Gao the earring because his magic stat kind of sucks, but a lot of his rages are magic based. I figured that was a good kind of workaround there. like to know what these sky armors got have to offer as far as these steels go because I had didn't succeed at that yet but he just doesn't have enough to cast it um it didn't do as much damage as I would have liked let's try fossil dragon and see how that goes That's exactly why I wanted to target that one first, because absolute zero. Okay, that was what I thought. Sandstorm hits all three. Uh, hits both sides, more importantly. Um, and did way more damage. Uh, Celestine so confuse. Wait, what? That must just be a natural one. Definitely feeling like that uh, Bone Dragon was a good choice there. Er... Is that right? Fossil Dragon. There we go. Just hey. Okay, just Ethers. Which is fine. Sick. I am honestly slightly tempted right now. that heal before he goes into fossil dragon mode. Uh, fossil dragon does make Gao considered undead 
so he would no longer be able to, uh... no longer be able to get healed. That's not good. Slendara this guy. I guess let's grab an ether. Why not? Ethers are good. I'm gonna double check here whether curious what the special we get from those are. Um, sky Armor is Magitech Laser. Meh. That's what I was hoping. Spitfire is Absolute Zero. So if we want, we've got an option there. Okay, there's Chupon and Ultros. Really bad. So the big problem here is <clears throat> if we do a Kira on the whole party, then Gao dies. So we have to do these individual cures or curas. One target cura feels like super overkill. That's why I didn't do that. Okay. So let's learn to chill. And you know what? We're gonna use ether. <laughs> Get her back up to good MP. Uh, real quick, this is Ultros, so we are gonna switch to Flame Tongue. I think we're good there. That should be fine. Although we do want to decide what we're doing with Gal. I hadn't thought through which rage to use for this particular fight. Bomb would be a decent option. like we want Lopros until Chupon's there. <laughs> Quake. I may try Outcast. 
That feels like it could be good. Drain effect. Actually... Yeah, let's just go physical. Get our haste on. I am very, I will be very excited for the day when we get haste uh, so we can multi target. Is there anything else we need to get up right now as far as this goes? I don't think so. Um. Double checking quick. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with that plan. It's outcast, right? Let me try this. Life shaver. Just double checking through to make sure, or to see if any of my characters have slow. And I'm gonna have Celis cast Protect on herself. Okay. I just realized that the one that I picked for Gao is a is potentially undead, so he may die when I cure. But... Or he may take damage when I cure, but he's going to keep healing himself. So actually... If we are going to do a heal for the whole party, I think the goal will be... So, probably next turn. Um, looks like I lose again. Never mind. Mr. Typhon, come on down. Bunga. He's not very talkative but his incredible strength will blow you sky high. Okay. So what we're gonna do is wait until... Oh, that didn't work out quite the way I wanted. I was hoping to get the Kira off right before Life Shaver. This should be percentage based damage. That's perfect. <laughs> that was totally on purpose. Uh, yeah. So he will now be curing him, or he will be immune to cure while he's reflecting. And we're in trouble. Ish. I suppose the good news is we can now switch this around so Gao will not be undead.
Uh, and we're gonna go Lopers. It's a classic for a reason. Crunch is nasty. That's what I wanted. Never mind. That's slightly problematic, but I guess... Well... That's annoying. remember if you have to target um, Typhon or Ultros here. Of course, he has Fireball. At least the heal is... Okay, so if I target him down with Blizzara a couple more times, that should do it. Um, hopefully. So, considering the oversights I made during this fight, uh, I'm feeling okay about where we're at. Jeez! Okay, take three on Gao having a decent... Uh, option. We're gonna go with Spitfire. The one we just got. We're gonna absolute zero. Uh, Ultra shouldn't absorb. It might not be as strong against him, but it, or, but he shouldn't absorb it. And then we'll go, that'll give us Chupons, uh, or Typhon, rather. Ice weakness here. That's much better. That was supposed to be on Typhon, but oh well. <sighs> really obnoxious. Again, I can never remember if you're supposed to be targeting Typhon or not here. But the good news is Gao should be able to... That's rough. Um... Gao's hitting both of them anyway. So it should be fine. Well, when he is hitting both of them. <laughs> And now we know that Ultros <coughs> absorbs poison as well. Please do absolute zero. Please finish this. <laughs> We're getting our butts kicked. We're very much in that spiral <coughs> right now where... We're trying to get Celis back on her feet, but we don't have the turns to get a heal in as well. <laughs> because they keep using multi-target attacks. So I think I just need to actually... Yeah. He 
can use an X potion as a frog. <laughs> Let's get them back into fighting shape first, and then we can look into potentially. That's bad. Okay. Well, today I learned. So, that fight is a lot hard. I mean, that, again, these are not always, or th that one is usually an easier fight than that, but for the most part, yeah. Um, I have a couple thoughts. Uh, the first thing is... Golem. If Gao had enough MP to summon Golem, that would have been good. Second thing was Kirin. If Gao or if uh, we had somebody with Kirin equipped, that would have been good. Um... Third thing offhand is Madwin was kind of a waste to be equipped. Um, we're not summoning it. It doesn't really do that much. So I'm kind of thinking that rearranging my espers a little bit might be my... part of my upcoming strategy <laughs> uh, for that particular fight. But that is, uh, that is the thing for next time. So, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.